hello and welcome uh, to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. My name is James Timmons and I will instruct you today um, in um, using the photo flash tool inside of the uh, Embroidery Studio E4 program. What I have here is uh, an image that was uh, just copied from the web. I am actually in Corel Draw, the full version of Corel Draw, not the uh, Corel Draw uh, connected with the Wilcom Embroidery Studio. And this just uh, to uh, illustrate to you that, that you can also bring in images from the full version of Corel Draw. And um, by going to File and just choosing uh, <clears throat> Import. Okay. And so uh, with this. Uh, image on the screen here basically uh, it is uh, six inches by about four inches and what I'm gonna show you today basically is I can um, you can copy this with this on the screen just by right clicking it you're gonna select it first of course you're gonna right click here and I'm gonna choose copy I'm gonna navigate down my taskbar here on the bottom and I'm just going to uh, go up and I'm going to paste this image on the screen here okay and as you can see here it uh, pastes on the screen so now um, the tool that we're going to use today is the uh, photo flash tool for the black and white uh, artwork and um, if you don't see that on your screen here uh, usually it'll be somewhere on the left side of the screen here if you don't see it uh, just navigate as I'm going to navigate uh, to an open area here at top. I'm going to right click in this area and you can scroll down whatever does not have a check beside it of course is not on the screen. Uh, here uh, you can click on the auto digitizing tools and uh, you'll click it here to the left and put a check by it and it should appear on your screen and here it is here. I'll just grab this and drag this and move this here. Okay so now um, the next step here is to be able to go in and just uh, select it first left click and for the black and white I'm just going to navigate down and I'm going to select the photo flash tool here okay at this point I'm just going to left click on it to start it and the object properties will come up as you can see here and for this one um, I'm going to leave this on um, fine resolution okay and the background color here uh, can be uh, controlled by you know giving it a light or dark uh, color in the background and for the angle here of the stitches um, I'm going to use 45 degrees okay uh, 45 degrees is a safe stitch angle to use uh, even when you're doing regular embroidery uh, because the idea is to have the stitch angle um, not going in the same weave of the garment and so um, at this point here uh, I'm just all you have to do is navigate down and you're gonna click on the little check here and it says apply as I left click it stitches uh, the image and um, I'm going to press D is in dog to hide the bitmap in the background and this is what our design looks like now keep in mind that for something like this uh, the, the picture quality is going to be crucial for this your light medium and dark uh, shadows are going to be crucial here also uh, the better those are the better image that you'll have on the screen and I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to change my measurement system here and I'm gonna make this larger this eight as it increases the size here okay so now as I go here and I adjust the measurement system here back to the uh, the metric here so now uh, as, as you look at this um, as I zoom in here with my um, mouse button as I'm rolling it forward here uh, you can see the imagery here uh, on the screen and uh, it uh, did a pretty good job now if I press my number one key on the keyboard 
that's going to give me a one-to-one -one view of the uh, of the image here uh, in um, the real-time view here okay and as I move out of here now keep in mind also that as it stitches it remember we're st it's stitching it like this actually as I zoom in and so you have these satin stitches here that are stitching at a 45 degree angle on the lighter areas of course uh, you have a thinner um, view of those actually and as you zoom out of course you get a visual here of what that uh, looks like uh, on screen now um, I can select the object on the screen here uh, from my color from my color object list as I select it here and changing the colors also uh, will give you a different uh, look of the uh, imagery also as I go in and click on the different colors here on the bottom of the screen and so that does give you a different view uh, of the uh, of the imagery here okay so and again depending on the quality of the photo uh, that you bring in uh, this particular one here was brought in from the web so we're looking at uh, 72 dpi for this one and so that's not a very good uh, resolution but here just for this uh, little project here that we're doing uh, it, it's adequate here I'm gonna press 0 here now with this also you can go in and uh, you can uh, adjust the density and things of that nature also on my lower left side of my screen here it tells me that I've got 47,000 stitches in it keep in mind that this does generate uh, uh, you know a large uh, number of stitches in the design uh, by the way that it's generating the stitches uh, on on the screen and you want to keep that in mind and you always have the option here to also going in uh, clicking on the design drop menu and removing any small stitches here that are uh, in the design and that will eliminate some of the uh, small stitches in the design as well and so once I've done this um, I have an option now to go in and be a bit creative if I, if I want to be creative with this okay and so what I mean by that is I can go in and let's say that I've got uh, um, something from uh, another design that I worked on that I actually want to add uh, to this particular design I can do this uh, easily uh, just by going in and uh, I'm going to go to my file drop menu here I'm going to scroll down import embroidery and as I scroll here I'm going to see here this one I'm gonna double click on this one and I'm just gonna uh, apply that here on the screen and uh, what I've done is I've uh, opened up an image that was already done before and I just uh, apply this or I added this on top of the uh, imagery uh, from the uh, photo flash from the black and white and so by looking at this I mean you could actually go in you could you could tell and you could see if I press 0 here for full view um, what that uh, what that did actually so I was able to go in and pull up something that I had already done and just added adding a border on the outside of this now it did increase the stitch count to 65,401 stitches okay but depending on how you're going to use this uh, whether uh, you, you're stitching this. Uh, I mean, I can see uh, putting this um, um, on some uh, fabric, uh, maybe some canvas or something like that, or some leather, and stitching that and putting it inside a frame. And so, these are the options that you have here with this. Um, and as maybe you want to stitch this on a sweatshirt or something like that. But uh, here, just wanted to just give you a uh, rendition of how simple it is to bring in artwork and to convert it uh, in the black and white uh, for the photo flash tool and remember and keep in mind that the uh, quality of the picture is going to be crucial with this and um, any uh, black and white photograph is not going to work um, as effectively okay and that's going to do it for this uh, series here for the black and white artwork 
for the photo flash. I thank you for your time. And as always, we ask you to visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you. Have a great day.